fingers crossed. Oh, okay. So, uh, we need to go back. Like, okay, what happened? Do you do you guys mind if we um, reset this? No problem. We can do it. Okay, so we can, that. We can all over again. All right, because I'm like, wait, I was halfway confused. Wait, what happened? Whoa. What happened on my code? <laughs> you reset it. That's what happens when you reset it. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I actually did start this. <laughs> All right, so. So you are going to write it again? Yeah, I'm just going to write it again. But I don't remember what I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is your practice time. Yeah. Okay. So for um. Just give any variable in there. Yeah. That's true. I X. Link. Okay. Another four. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So I'm just going to do J. Uh, ooh, okay. So for this, we have X, and then I'm going to do the length. J. All right. So I think I know this. I, J is, okay. That's right. Yeah. J is less than R. Okay. Yeah, you are going through the the previous four. We tried. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so what do we have here? Product. Then we multiply this by yeah, right. Pro both product plus yeah. four. four. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> Our um, yeah, no way. Yeah, yeah, a lot of X. Is an R? I think you should I. You should say R. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm, no, you don't need multiply. It's already you said already multiply outside. Yes. The other one. Bracket. Another bracket. No. no. If you have doubt, just use the console there. What array.x returns and what array x j returns. In the, uh, inside loops only. Write the I, console what inside loop only. In the product or what? No, no, write no. the console in loop only. In the for loop only. Write the console in for loop. So you'll get that array of x. This loop? Yeah, after. Line seven, write the console. Yeah. Uh, am I doing product or what? No, uh, yeah. No, no, ARR. ARR. ARR X. ARR of X. Oh, shoot. Sure. Okay. Now ARR of another Sorry. bracket. Okay, what happened? No. On it, line eight, add another woo. Yeah, J. Right, J. Yeah. Square, square bracket J. Yeah. Yeah. Return. So should I write J here? Yeah. Because you are multiplying yeah. <coughs> both. 
Yeah, I think that I think that works now. That works fine, but she's struggling to understand. So, um, ha- here we are accessing the array of X means yeah. of. How should I console out the? How should I find out the five forty? What should I do to get the what five forty? I think you should console the product. Product, yes. Console. So, but should I do it here? Just log that function call. You'll get that. The line seven. Log log that line seventeen. Line seventeen. Seventeen. Just log that multiply all. You'll get the. And um, I think if wait, wait, I think if you did console log, and you did the product every time too, like yeah, if, if you, you would see what, you would see what's really happening. Do uh, underneath yeah. the uh, your function or your for loop, your for loop uh, console for log. Loop. Write it on for, for loop inside the for loop. Okay. Yeah, the after on at, on after row eight. So click in row eight. And then console log the product. Yeah, now it steps out and it lets you know that every time. Oh, uh, yeah. What it's doing. <clears throat> yeah, until it gets to 5048 or 40. Five, yeah, 5040. So at each number, that's what it's, it's letting you know. You know what the product is at four, at five, at six, at seven. Does that make more sense? It makes sense, yeah. Yeah. I, I still need to practice one, two, three, four, <clears throat> three and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, okay. It's just uh, exponentially growing every time by by the next. Uh, by the next number. By the next, yeah. The next X. Each X is growing it, or not? Not even X. Every J by every J, it's growing. But okay, you can keep going, Ab. I think you you're on a roll. You're doing good. You guys okay with that? Yeah. 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 Hundred yeah. percent. We, we like you a lot. We we think you should do it. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> I base uh, I iterate with uh, JavaScript do what? Okay, we can run the same code multiple times by using a loop. The next type of loop you will learn is called a do while loop because it first will do one pass of the code inside the loop no matter what, and then it runs while a specified condition is true and stops once the condition is no longer true. Let's look at an example. Um, so is this is happening? Just I okay. So this behaves just as you would expect with any other type of loop. And the resulting array look like zero, one, two, three, four. <clears throat> However, what makes the do while different from other loops is how it behaves when the condition fails on the first check. Let's see this in action. Here's a regular while loop that will run the code in the loop as long as it's um, greater than five. I mean, sorry, less than five. Okay. Okay. Um, notice that we initialize the uh, value of i to be 5. When we execute the next line, we notice that i is not less than 5. So we do not execute the code inside the loop. The result is that our array will end up with nothing added to it. So it will still look like this. 
bracket thing when all the code in the example above finishes running. Now take a look at do while loop. <clears throat> Interesting. Interesting. So, yeah, so walk us through that do while and tell us what each line is doing in okay. the in the var r array. Wait, what are okay right here or in the in the left on the left? Yeah. Yeah. That one. Yeah. Help us understand. What, the difference is, if the condition fails while on run that block, in the do while it will run once, even the condition fails. Mm -hmm. Wow. It I... guarantees that the condition will run once, even the condition is false. Hmm. Yeah, because what does i equal? And it's saying do while i is less than five. Whatever. Here the condition is false. Still, it yeah. runs once. Yeah, because that is a special type do while. I it will is run. five. It's not less than five. Yeah. Uh, so, question: What are we? What are we looking at? Either both of them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No. Both of them. Yes. Yeah, because that's a while loop. It won't run right. at all. But because that one's a do while. But write yeah. it on the code editor so we can understand how it is going. It will it will do it yeah. even if it's false. Just write that while and do while. We'll see the yeah. Same. Like just copy and paste those code snippets and just yeah. drop yeah. them in there. And you'll see what the difference is. Yeah, just give yourself some real estate and just drop those in there. And then console log them. Yeah. Log from inside. I think better. Yeah. Okay, log that out already. Something going on here. Yeah, it didn't run, see? Nothing happened. Uh, it won't log anything because nothing happened. But this one will log at least the first. Our array. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, you can yeah. see that. Yeah, so it at least gives you a five. Yeah. So because but I use five why, why oh, for the first five? Five. That's the because difference between that, while and do. Do while runs irrespective of the condition for at least once. Yeah. If the condition is true, then it will continue. If condition is fail, it will stop there. But it will run once. It will run once. Oh, okay. Yeah, it just it Actually, pushed it pushed uh, I to the array. Then it right. check the condition. Then it will move on to the condition. Yeah, but because the while is at the end, it at least ran it before it got to the condition that it like it didn't know that it wasn't supposed to run. You understand? Like yes, first it will run the block, then it move on to yeah, while and check the condition. Because you told it to do it. Yeah, first. but it's doing it. Yeah, so it did it, and then it realized, oh snap! You said. You want me to stop and, but it doesn't think like that. It just thinks, okay, you wanted me to do this, so I'm just going to do it. And then I'm going to stop because the conditions aren't right in the while loop. So I can't go, I can't once, go any further. Yeah. Once uh, change that I equal to five on line 23 to some smaller value and we'll see. Line 23, 23. change that five uh, to so zero or one or something. Yeah, no. anything below four, like four or lower, it will run. At least another time. Yeah. Oh, okay. But it won't go to five. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it'll stop before it gets to five because five. The condition is less than five. It it has the conditions that it needs to do a while loop, you know. But at five or higher, it'll at least run once before it realizes that it needs to stop. Stop. Okay. Yeah. Let me try this. Yeah. And the other one, it'll do the same. 
But for that, you need to. It just won't run. Run that line twenty two because we have array twenty two files, so it return that to line twenty two. <coughs> we have same variable at thirteen and twenty two, so you. Yeah. You get that twenty two yeah. only if you log it. Console logging the same thing. If you come in yeah. at twenty two. Just can... log it at uh, line twenty. I'm sorry, I'm confused. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 You're logging files. Okay. No problem. What am I doing? Com uh, comment out uh, okay. uh, line 22 to uh, our... Okay, no problem. I think she has logged that before the error is at 19. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Or even comment out that 28 console log. 28 line 28 yeah yeah so you're just looking at the 19 pounds a lot yeah and its situation is that it won't do anything because it gets stopped by the while loop that's before mm -hmm. it's all in the positioning because the while loop's on 15, then it can't even start. But because the line 24 says do, it just, it just does it. Just it. Does it. Okay. And then on 27, it gets to the while loop. So it's just like top to bottom action. Oh, I see. I see. Because the top to bottom action. Yeah. yeah. It's just in the fact that. It gets to it, and then after the fact, it realizes that I've got to stop. I can't. I can't iterate again. Okay. Come back. To, come back to our challenge. Clear that time. Come back to our challenge. Yes. Let me... Yeah. So I think you. I think you read in this case. I think that's where we were. Yeah. In this case, we initialize the value of i as five, just like we did with the while loop. When we get to the next line, there is no check for the value of i. So we go to the code inside the curly braces and execute it. We will add one element to the array and increment by i before we get to the condition check. Then when we get to checking if i is less than five, see that i is now six, yeah. which fails the conditional check. So we exit the loop and are done. At the end of the above example, the value of our array is five. Essentially, a do while loop ensures that the code inside the loop will run at least once. Okay. Let's try getting do while loop to to work by pushing values to an array. Change the while loop in the code to a do while loop so that the loop will push the number 10 to my array and I will be equal to 11 when the code finishes running. Okay. Um, Write a do while loop in place of while. I feel like I need to take this whole thing. Now and yeah, do there and place that while. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's all in the positioning. Basically. That's, um, it's, it's all in the positioning of the while. Yes. Now log that I can see that. No need to change that, I think. The condition will. Yeah, you can leave it at five. Because that's the point. Yeah. Is Once that it's, log a that I it's, a false, uh, it's a false condition based on the, uh, the var. Just log the i value and you'll see it is whether it is incremented or not. Yeah. Also log the i also. Yeah. So that's important because. If you have a falsy value, then it would at least run once. Mm -hmm. 
and now i should be 11 just lock the i also in the line 15 we'll line 15 do what console dot log i console log i yeah it'll be uh, six right 11 or 11 yeah Oh, it'll be 11 yeah. because okay okay yeah, yeah 10 plus plus because it's 10 yeah yeah i was still thinking of the the condition is five so it's failing in that code yeah 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 11 is not less than five so it stops so it stops yeah but it didn't know that until after it had already run once to push it to the array so it pushed 10 to the array because that's what I was in the in the do part in the curly braces with the do it was 10 yes but then in 11 it realizes I've got to quit because my condition is falsy so the once that do block will runs then it will check the condition if the condition is true it will continue otherwise it will stop there yeah but it's at least run once yeah at least once yeah, it runs. yeah so if you're expecting more values then it'll be kind of a uh, dead giveaway that okay something's wrong with with my do while loop Yeah, you should kind of have like an expectation that okay, it's gonna it's gonna output something more than what I'm doing. All right. I'm gonna. <laughs> All right. Now we're at one of the bad boys profile lookup. Yeah. All right, I'll share my screen. Okay. All right, profile, look up, do your worst. We're gonna show you who's boss. All right, we have an array of objects representing different people in our contacts. A lookup profile function that takes name and a property of prop as argument has been pre-written for you. The function should check if name is an actual per contact's na first name and the given property prop is a product of the contact. All right, if both are true, then return the value of that property. If name does not correspond to any contacts, then return no such contact. If prop does not <clears throat> correspond to any valid properties of a contact found to match name, then return no such property. All right. All right, so let's look at our function. The function is there. Okay, so the first name is name. <coughs> And then the other one is just props. Okay. I think it's a good idea to start from the those no, like no property or no. <clears throat> yeah. Those if you start from them. If name is an actual contact. Okay, so contacts is the. Uh, that is bar. an array, I think. Yeah. yeah, contacts is an array. Inside that, we have some objects. Yeah, and we have lost maps. And in the below, they have some method. Yeah, we have some function. Here, we should write our code. First, okay. Once, just log that name and prop, and we can will proceed with that. If name, uh, what is the object array name? Uh, contact. Is contact. Contacts, okay. Yeah, just so log the contacts square bracket name. So we get, yeah. and then if it is not 
Ez már MT. Az nem correspond to. Yeah, if does not correspond to any contact. Name is an actual contact first name. Then to no such contact. I need to say first name. Sorry. First name. Oh. Uh, do I need to say declare that name is first yeah, name? We are passing a value and we should check it whether it is a first name or not. Okay. Right? We are passing Akira yeah, and we should yeah. check that Akira is first name or not. So you could access the contacts dot first name is equals to name or not. Yeah, yeah. So I need to, it's not just that it's zero, it's... Uh, Inside contacts, use the first name and compare with the name value. Access the first name and compare with the name passed to that function. You don't know yeah, so I need to say, I need to say, either no, a for yeah. loop, I need to say a yes. for loop or... No, 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 once, once check that in our function call in line 39, we are passing value of that First name. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know what's so, happening. Yeah. Contacts. Check your bracket. The name that's entered yeah, in here the condition. is here. And yeah. first Akira name. is the first one. So it's yeah. here. So, okay. We should write the loop, I think, for loop. Yeah. This place. For. I think outside yeah. that if. I think clear that if. First, we should write a for loop. Then inside, we will write if. For. Um, Take anything. Var. <coughs> var. Var any. Um, index. Take index. Yeah, for sure. Index. Yeah, or input. Would it be input? No. Index. I and E X. Or no, this would be match, right? No, no, yes, it's a loop. Is index zero? is equal to zero and index is equal to less than added contacts dot length. No, no, zero, zero. No, 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 zero. Just How zero. we iterate through array? Yeah. Uh, zero, yeah. zero. Yeah, because we are going to. That's the semicolon, not comma there. Yeah, uh, and then. Um... Index less than. Contact dot length. What is the dot length? Index dot or index less than index dot length. Dot context. Length is context. Context. Oh, context. Context. Yeah. Contact dot length. Context is uh, the number. The, the, uh, the number of arrays in the in yeah. the. Mm -hmm. So it'll give me the count saying. It'll yeah. get it one, two, three, yeah. Yeah. four. Yeah. So once uh, it reaches the four, it will stop there. Once it reaches the four, then it will stop working. Yeah. And then index plus plus. Plus plus. Yeah. And then open the curly braces. Clear. Tell it to say that name yeah. contact index. <laughs> dot first name once log the contacts square bracket index dot first name after that after that it is an object so we should access to outside the outside bracket. outside the bracket okay dot first name yeah, log it Elliot then we will move proceed to the next step just once log the value 13 write the Log around the 13. Okay. Around the 13. Yeah. 33. Oh, 33. Okay. Yeah. Console log. Write console log on that 33. So that is not on variable. 34 okay. or 33. Uh, no, go ahead. Insert contacts. Square uh, bracket index. Index. Contacts. Contact. No, oh, Elliot. We're contact uh, console logging number uh, line thirty. What is it? Thirty three. Yeah, I'm working. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. 
contacts uh, say write that same that line 33 in console as this okay x no no contacts index uh, you need to wrap line 33 inside console.log um, i have misspelled it contacts remove that uh, s oh. contacts yeah contacts index dot first name just log it the first name okay i see what's going on okay. yeah you can see that first names here of all objects right mm -hmm. we should compare first name with the name we are getting in our function if first name is equal to name yeah okay so if yeah equal to uh, name okay i think, mm. I think we got it from here there were triple and yeah triple equal. strict uh then um we need to check if return if, the name what does it say second if it is okay uh, then return the value of the prop move that oh, line 36 to in, into that condition and see what happens Cut okay. and paste it the line 36 in but 36. uh now we just need to return the name of the prop right yeah just cut that line 36 console and paste it in 34 don't return anything just yeah cut that console and paste it in 34 yeah but now we just need to return the prop yeah so because it's matching up to akira yeah so we are passing akira so we're getting that akira only. okay and then return uh prop function should check name is an actual contacts first name uh, and then property is the property of the contact and if it's not no 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 we should yeah. get, get, in line 33 you need to uh, uh, put another condition after that name um we should also add and yeah and double double and the app ampersand yeah yeah now contacts contacts index wrap it around that uh, square bracket yeah, right. dot outside dot has own property in javascript we have yeah own yeah and pass that prop parenthesis and parenthesis yeah. Yeah. prop yes Okay, because mm. his likes are at this list. Likes in every in every object, it will check if this object has the property likes or not. If let's say on third object, it does not have a like property, then it uh, the if condition won't run. And we should return. What should we return? Prop. True. Return the value of that property. Return yeah. contacts, contacts, uh, square bracket props. Oh, okay, contact, yeah, okay. Wasn't contact dot props. Contact, Thank square bracket, index. Yeah, index. Index dot prop. Okay. Contacts, oh. index. Index dot prop. Square bracket, close the square bracket there and put. In, yeah, enter the square bracket there itself and take that prop out of that square bracket index it should be in square bracket the prop should be dot prop okay remove that square bracket at the end and end it after that index write it just like they both they have contact index first name the same like that you could okay. save that inside yeah. a variable yeah so it would be easier to read now Akira is here. But I'm going to... What, once, okay, next one is if name doesn't correspond to any... Are, aren't I wondering what likes is? Likes is on property there. Yeah. But I'm wondering what the likes are, right? Not just Akira. Like you want to be able to look up what are Akira's likes. Yeah. 
that he likes that's pizza are, coding and brownie points. Yeah, that's why we are donning the likes array. Yeah. If name does not correspond to. Uh, if name does not correspond to any content. Like you're wanting Akira's, so you want to say name, right? Like it should be name. No, no, no. I think. But that's what that's ex exactly what you're wanting, there, right? The name is value. We are passing the value. We can't access the value. We should. We can access the value with using the key, but we can't access the key with a value. We are passing value. We should access it key. The key is first name, last name there. Okay. So you need Did to you be able to tell it the, what uh, the name we are passing is value of that property. Yeah. We need the name of that property to access that value. Yeah. The the name is exactly first name. We can't access a contacts accurate directly. The accurate is value there. Edit, are you getting it? So it just, be first name. Just, no, yeah. no, no. No, no, I, I get I yes. get what's happening, but I'm trying to figure out what we're doing. Cause look, look, uh, contacts is an array in which we have multiple, ob multiple objects. Okay, to access access a particular object, we need to uh, uh, to access a particular object inside an array. We need to uh, access it through an index. Index. Yeah, that's why we are passing here index. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you have by this line, uh, by this word contacts uh, of index, you will get a whole object. Okay, now you are, access, you are accessing the prop likes property that, uh, that is being passed to uh, 48 line. Mm -hmm. Are you getting it now? Yeah, but okay, yeah, so just go, go to the can line I, 20. Can I console it? 20. Let me console it. Okay, if you yeah, have, yeah. still have some doubt, I, I think it's working. Right, but it's just not consoling. That's yeah, we need to complete. Yeah, we're getting yeah, it's not the doing anything. No index because it needs to give us the array that for the likes for Akira, but it's not doing that. It's on property. Yeah, remove that prop and just log that only contacts index so it will return the array. Let's see. Yeah, keep it that. Yeah, yeah so science is an object. We are getting an object. Now place it in the square bracket. Prop also place it on square bracket because it's an variable. Ah, that's right. And it's multiple. Oh, prop. Prop. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's where it needed to be in square. Yeah, because it's a, like it's a variable. Or no, it it's just a it's an array. Yeah. Because no, the array. prop is a variable. Oh. Prop, prop is we a variable. Passing, yeah, we are passing the we are taking prop from our function, so then we can treat it as a variable instead of function. Mm -hmm. We have some parameters in our function, right? The name and prop. The name and prop are like variables. So if you want to access some object with a variable name, we yeah. practice that in the previous yeah. classes but i think i think it wouldn't it wouldn't return because it needs to be in bracket notation not in uh, it can't be dot no no that is array we should, we should no need to worry about that whatever it is we are trying but to access it won't work if we do this though yeah no because we have prop is like a variable forget about that object about just Look in this function only. Here yeah, we have I, think name and... to, I think it has to do with the bracket notation because it's an array. Yeah. That's what I'm if trying to say. If you want to access, just dot likes, mention dot likes, <clears> you'll get that. Yeah. In place of uh, remove that, dot likes. Okay. And actually the prop uh, prop on line 30 that is being passed in the parameter that is a variable uh, at the runtime it won't treat as dot likes it will simply treat as dot props so yeah. uh, 
in order to access the likes property that is me uh, on line 43 it's being passed liked in order to access the likes property you need to wrap it around uh, square brackets so in, in next call if we pass something else other okay. than like in, in place of like because line the 43. variable yeah is because prop is a variable here itself yeah. in the function 30. So if I just said like uh, yeah, it's like a variable. Those thing. functional para function parameters yeah, are like variables. Okay. No, it is at likes. So if I said prop now, no, 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 no. In square square bracket. bracket. It would still have to be in square bracket. Yeah. Uh, what if I said thing? What it would it be? No, it won't there work no now. Property. There is no property with this thing. Thing. Yeah. No, there is no yeah thing. is there any property with the name thing in our object that's why we are not getting anything it's not working now because i don't have prop yeah ah, if you change it into thing you can use that thing here so change there are thing. yeah thing now it's not working I think maybe this is just the console log like here. No, no, no. It should work, I think. It should, it should, right? Because it's doing the same thing. But we change, we have to change that line 33 has own property. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Let me just see. I'm just toying around with it to see that I, I'm getting this thing, thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So because thing has its own prop, here thing is likes because we're passing likes as a value from function yeah, call. It's saying because so yeah, like was on input line, here. On line forty three, pass uh, anything last name. Pass yeah. last name. Come to line forty three in place of likes. Pass a uh, last name. It is yeah last name. Line. Yeah, yeah. You can so see any last name like of, number. Oh, I Last name of Akira we are getting. Number. Yeah. yeah. Number. That is Akira's number. So go to Akira's object and see that number. Yeah, one sec. Sorry. <laughs> I have a, a friend. Okay. Number. Yep. And then, but if we took this away. Uh, it will be empty. Okay, one sec. Let me, let me make sure I swipe that somewhere else. So that I can put it back. Uh, let me just console like that here. And I console like it, but let me comment it out. Okay. So if this one is empty, yeah. Then we need to say no such property. No, 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 not like that. Not that one. We need, we have some other condition. If name does not correspond does to not correspond to any contact means if there is okay. any name like with, if we said tree count uh, there is no yeah uh, in that case we should return no such contact yeah okay so i'll put this back okay now let's go back if so it's if else uh, in the error itself only or else else l or we should write something like if contacts index dot first name not equal to name okay sorry i gotta put this away okay all right okay else uh, right else if i think better you write the condition uh, else if else if in the if open that row, braces and write the condition there after if open parenthesis after if yeah Elliot yeah store so contacts I mean on line thirty three store that first name thing uh, in a variable it would be much easier to read we can use okay. that okay yeah go ahead we can. Hey, let me change this back. Sorry. No, no, no. Just go ahead. No, uh, it confuse others. I think. Okay. Contacts. If, 
for no contacts index first name no, 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 not no. equal to name this yeah no no up to index no 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 okay go ahead go ahead karan okay. you can do that after passing the this just write that as it is in the here line come to 36 okay yeah write the condition so when you say yeah. contact index contacts index oh ah sorry my daughter is touching my Just keyboard write, write the same condition as contacts index not equal to index index hold on okay hold on first name oi 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 okay right. okay okay sorry i'm okay thank you okay index dot First name yeah. not equals to if it is not equal to the name then return the first name return no, no such contact property contact contact the for property we should add one more condition oh no such contact sorry sorry, sorry. Uh, contact yeah you miss you miss spell first name oh man my typos are on point today no problem yeah. once uh, we will check it say check our code in line 45 are you going to check this first yeah. ah, okay. come back to our line 45 and change the name to something else yeah let's change it to uh, stanley yeah. You don't have a stand. We are getting no such contact, right? And then let's attach it to Kira again. And then, yeah, and I can get rid of this one. Else, if we write one more condition, else if is showing up. Yeah, return. Uh, such no, 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 no. Ah, okay, complete that. Else, place else if write if else after that else if condition. We should write one more condition there before that. Um, if yeah. Complete that condition if condition. Yeah. Okay. If. Contact is not contact index. Not index. Place a negation before that. Index. Index dot first. Outside the index is come back outside. Index dot has one purpose. Oh yeah. No no no. Outside break. Come, come outside. That has one property should be outside that square bracket. Ah uh, shit. Dot has one purpose. Place the dot here before that has one. Yeah, yeah. Negative means inverse dot value. Use that uh, exclamatory. Yeah. Now pass some property something else in place of number. Here in forty six. Forty six line. Uh, number. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I took it away. Yeah. Um, we didn't like. Just remove some letter from them. Yeah, no, something else. There should. Yeah. Other than. Gave it the likes, yeah. and then num. I took away number, so number doesn't have. Remove, remove that R, and then make it something. With contacts, also you can keep everything. But it is a contact. Yeah. That's not right. What is it doing? Oh. It's doing something wrong. Contact. But it is a contact. First name not. Name. Should this be? Oh, you need to wrap it. Uh, yeah, call that function. No, no, no. Yeah. Remove yeah. props. I think that's right now because it's saying no such property. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's working now. And Great then job. if we said 
but the property with number is there i think uh, no he has removed it yeah like if i say yeah i took i took out the number um to make sure that it would work like i said eb okay she wouldn't be a contact but then if i said it's the last one? christian christian it will work and it'll have a number then it's not i think we are missing something here just run the code run the test and yeah. let's see um it should be working Uh, something something wrong with this one then yeah something is wrong i wish you could uh with this one because it should be saying i think we should separate that conditions removing it else once we get to okay if name does not respond to should it be a it should be a nested for loop no no on line 33 remove the else else if and make remove it. the uh, separate conditions yeah make that f 3 separate 35. on 35th line yeah remove that else else only remove that else and Yeah. Ah, hit enter so it will command to next line. Yeah. And the same way at thirty-eight. Line thirty-eight. <laughs> yeah. Is it working now? No. Let's let's run it. What is our function method call? Go to the. I'm going to Sherlock. Yeah, Sherlock is not a contact. No, it is. Okay. Sherlock is the name is there. It is, and uh, member is. There. Okay. So. Come is to the code. Cap capital S. Yeah, it's yeah, not it the is. same. Uh, Once run our test and see what happening, so we can get some. contact me why we are no such contact yeah contact so uh in mix or force and is not equal to yeah, it's not even console logging uh sure uh harry or sherlock yeah so we are not entering into that if it pass the two condition then only it will log that line 33 First name and has own property, likes, or number. <laughs> the, the index is not going to the next everything is fine uh the info one, it should be going to the one th index which is hairy it's not going because we are uh, returning we are returning here in every condition we are returning that's why it's not uh, incrementing uh 
Okay. So because it returned. Yeah. I guess the function of the but good to take it if name does not exist if name is okay. So we should do the return at the end. No, no, we should return in every condition. I'm right. I'm trying it on my code. Yeah. So you can't do it. Have the access to me. Yeah, we because have the, account on the console account. log, the console log would is happening before the return, and nothing's happening. So something's wrong here, right? I think we need to move the if statements. Uh, the, the worst case in in this condition we have is that we uh, we won't have a prop with the name. Move. Elliot, yeah. move 30, 39th, uh, move if condition from 39 code block to 32. Move this if. No, yeah, complete if. Yeah, cut that and paste it on line 32. Yeah. Okay. After that, move 40th if to 35th. Okay. So we're working backwards. Yeah. Now let's see. Miss class. But then. Could have one property. I think we need to use this else if else because if the above two are not working. But it's almost like we need this as like a primary key. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like this this is the primary key. The first name and the name are the keys. Like this is the lookup value, and then this is the lookup array. It checks the key whether the key is in the array. Any value of the subcontact. As long as it's in the array. Prop doesn't present any valid properties of the contact found in this name. Name doesn't present any contact. Let me write this out on like a piece of paper. One second. Yeah, guys, we need to modify our code bit here. It is working to me, guys. Right? Yeah. Did you relocate the conditions? Yeah. Okay. Okay. For for first condition, 
just read it again if prop does not correspond to any valid properties of a contact found to match name so we should use in the first 33 if contacts index dot first name equal to name and it doesn't have any property so write it like this if not, no, 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 i think we need to do a nested for loop no 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 contacts uh, i'm working in this is JavaScript because I think it. We we only have one array. I think it has to index, but then we also have to match. Like I understand this in Excel. Like in Excel, it's creating the index, but then you also have to have another function for match, or like a VLOOKUP. No, actually, uh, on there's first a, there's it, index, and then it needs like that key to match. We have that index. key. Yeah. 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 The index is name. Uh, the uh, the key is name to first name. That's the key. But I think it's gotta it's gotta have a nested for loop to get to that that next step. Shrikant, have you solved it? Yeah, it's giving somehow, it's passing some test. Elliot, mm -hmm. just in the line 33, add one more condition contacts in the if, if, if in the if, uh, there, right there, contacts index. Mm -hmm. Contact square bracket index dot first name is equals to name and yeah is equals to name and yeah no such contact no check okay, your so it got past this one because it has the prop. Is it giving the right funds written? Once um, go back to a function call. Is there no because hurry? there is a hurry. Contacts in this the first name. The function should check if name is actually the key first password. If both are true. Okay. Yeah, it should get to this one. Yeah. Like so move that to a first, I think. Move that condition to first place. If you need to respond to any point, I didn't. Yeah, place it after that. 32. Yeah. yeah so we are getting working. no such contact. Uh, Just comment out the last two if, if statements and we will see. You can use a shortcut else. Select the two statements completely and use the control backslash. Yeah. Oh. The above one also. Select the above if also. Yeah. Now we are getting correct. I didn't. No, it's just it's just console logging. Yeah. Okay. Remove that console log from there and log the function. Okay. We have already okay. If name does not correspond to any contacts, then it does not its contact. Okay, second condition only. If name mm -hmm. does not correspond to any contact, name does not correspond to any contact. Problems not respond to any values of the contact found to match name. Name does not correspond to any contacts. 
we need to modify our condition here why is it giving me this error did something not close out i think this did not close out uh no, that should be good. Let me see. Can someone please explain me the third condition? Okay. Hello. Prop Hello. does not correspond to any valid properties of the oh, I, think, I think it works now. Prop yeah, I think it's working now. I think because outputting this number. Yeah, I think it's working for this. Yeah, that it's working for first condition, but we need to figure out yeah. the second and Shrikant, yeah. can yeah. you please explain me the third condition? If prop does not correspond to any valid properties of the contact, yeah, explain me that. We have some name, and if there is no property found match with that name, means if there is no likes for that first Akira, we should return no such property. If there is no property name likes in Akira, we should return no such property. You need to place com comma, Where? comma after six line. Elliot? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay, so for this one, okay, okay, no such property. Pass any invalid property. If name is an actual contest, okay, okay, so let me see. Just reset it. What, what, what was it? Number? Yeah, I'm calling for number. No, no, no. Yeah. It's not passing that there. So for this, it should say. Now, because Harry Potter no. doesn't have a number. No. Are you checking for the second condition? Yeah, this one. This. Then you are checking equal to. Uh, I don't think. No such. You want the output. You want the output to be no such contact. That. So you. This one. I thought we were checking for, which one? Which you see guys are working on the no contact. अगर first name equal है और उसके में कोई ऐसी property नहीं है तो उसका loss of property you want me to do this and then check for this श्रीकांत yeah yeah how do I get this question I'm trying on my editor if context index okay so we still need to have the condition that Hello, can you please uh, paste this uh, code to, uh, to the chat my one yeah i can do this uh, paste this code into this chat app ma make a request to control the remote if you go to the where there's is this, uh, I'm gonna give mouse control to Deadpool. One sec. Can I edit your PC? One sec. Oh, okay. I'm gonna give it to Deadpool. So Deadpool, you have access to the mouse. 
I do not have that question. Guys. Yeah. I do not have that question. I I mean Acha. You you have access to the mouse. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, you work you're working within my editor on my console. That's cool. You, you can do a find replace. Here, you can do a control F, and then. No, I, no, I, yeah, I, I, I am fine with it. You can do a control F replace. For all of those. I'm, I'm, I'm sharing the code on chat. Just check this guys. Okay. It's not complete, but it's somehow. Okay, guys, I should leave now. Yeah. Yeah. Here, why don't, why don't I just give you mouse control then? I'm just copied the code. Just check it there. And... One sec. One okay, sec. Let me give mouse control to Srikanth too. No, no problem. Just I paste it on chat. You guys can see it. Yeah. Okay. It's not complete, but we can solve two conditions in this way. Okay. You have mouse control, Shrikan. Okay. I'm going to get off the mouse. So I can make changes here, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Delete the whole model. I think we should reset it, guys. You want to reset the whole thing? Yeah. All right, go ahead. So here we need to write some for loop first. You can directly paste that code. Which one? From the example? Oh, yeah. my code? Yeah. Yeah, from your Zoom chat, you could start with that <laughs> if you want to. <coughs> or your no editor, problem. If, you, if you pull that from your editor. No problem. You can write it. No problem. Is that uh, Mesfin and EB? Are they still with us? I'm here, guys. Dang it. I had my stuff on, on mute. I'm on mute. Oh, okay. Had you been talking? <laughs> yeah. I was like, uh, why don't you hear me? Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys aren't listening to me. <laughs> so, this is our for loop. Here, we need to check first if. Yeah. Make a variable for every index. That would be much clearer. I think this time we don't need Okay. Index dot first name. Is equals to name. And here we will write one more nested if we get if contact i think it's contacts right yeah yeah 
I think we have to go the route of ne uh, nested. Ish. Uh, some something has to be nested because oh, you're not only doing one check, you're doing a second check. Let's find the top one answer to be S. Oh, shit. There is some problem with syncing, so it's index. Sorry. Dot has one property. Okay. For prop. Bob. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're doing there. And then there should be an output. Okay, I also got it. Should it, yeah, okay. It should it return, but. Wait, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, you're in the right spot now. So here it should return the um, uh, it should return the first name Value, values of that property. Oh, yeah, 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 because yeah, like yeah, yeah, we're going to return likes or for whatever the property is. Yeah, so. Seconds return. Hello. Hello. Shrikant, is still with us. I Hello. think we have lost him. Mm -hmm. Is he in the participants? Shrikant, yeah, yeah, I think we lost him. Yeah. He'll probably Maybe. be back. He might have had a bad connection. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, so I'll just type. Return. Turn. Contact. Yeah, I think, I think your idea that create a variable is not a good idea. Contact. contact. No, contact. Contact, or, yeah, contact. Contact, yeah. Equals contacts. Uh, that's okay. Let's try it a little bit. Yeah. Is Abby with us? Um. Eb. Yeah. Yeah, she's still with us. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> no problem. Oh, wait, but Elliot is right here. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's get back to. Is this being recorded or? Oh yeah, no. yeah it is. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Return. Yeah. He said, "Go to the chat." No, no. On line thirty-three, you left that incomplete. Okay. Line 33. Yeah, I was just looking at what he was saying. Uh, index. Yeah, but that's all. Uh, 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 come on, thing. All right, index. Uh, okay. Semicolon. No, no, no. Semicolon. 
Okay. Okay. And contact. Yes. And then contact. Yes. Okay. And then contact. return. Contact. 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 Uh, first name. No, no, no. No, no. Wait. Wait contact. Pops. Yes. Contact. Oh, no, no, no. Inside uh, square bases because it's a, because props ah. is a variable. Okay. Yeah. So now if I semicolon, add semicolon. Here, yeah. So now if I. You got a ball. Me got a ball. Yeah, I don't think it's working. Wait a second. Uh, I live on line 33. I have uh, means we need to put the 33 line on inside the loop. Mm. Above the if condition. No. No. No, no, no. Control Z. Above the above this condition. Add semicolon. Mm. Is it working now? Yeah, it should be, right? Wait a second. Contact at first name. Put it to the name. Can I have access to your PC? Yeah. Okay. I've given you control. Thank you. Let's do like this. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, so it's giving us back the object. Object, okay. Man, this challenge is a booger. Yeah. <laughs> the better you than me. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm all for failing in public. If if I can fail here, when it doesn't matter, then I won't look like a total idiot if I get into an interview and I screw this up. Uh, let's get the screw ups out of the way, like in this kind of situation, you know, where it's like no pressure. Mm -hmm. I'd rather stumble and fall in a situation like this mm -hmm. so that that way I can get that out of the way. Okay, we are getting a feedback. Okay, so after we are checking if so contact has maybe if we change it to dot props. No, uh, but that's the same thing, now, right? Return. Uh, we are not. We are not uh, getting inside this second second if condition. Yeah, it's still not working. S1 property prop. <laughs> Wait a second. What have we done?
Oh, good grief, what have we done? It is done now. It is again. <laughs> it's outputting nothing. But this is not like, yeah. it, it's like I, get, I get the concept, like we all get this, but it's just Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Ah, this is killing me. Like it should return no. If this condition fails. I feel this, like we we just need to go back and look at the previous uh, uh, previous challenges and just see what they were doing there because obviously we're not applying something that was in the previous challenges you know <laughs> like like wasn't there a nested for loop no no it's not a for loop because we only have or one if, what if we could try a But if we could try a, a while loop, it's it's the same. It has thing. to be a for loop. Both so, of both of them are, I mean, same. Let's see. <laughs> Contacts. Yeah. I feel like we just need to go take a walk or something. Yeah. <laughs> and come back to it. Can just... I can I copy this code to my editor? Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, swipe it, bro. Okay. I think you can. If not, I can put it in the chat. Did you get it? Wait, uh, let me check. Yeah, if you don't, I can put it in my. Um... Mm -hmm. No, I'm not able to come to my editor. Can you please paste okay. that code? I'll, put, I'll post it on my GitHub. So then that way you can just make a pull okay. request or something. And then it'll be in code format. <laughs> it's a shame. Uh, hey, it's uh, it's okay. No, no shame here. <laughs> this, I'm this writing. Is, this is a no shame zone, man. <laughs> I'm writing full stack apps. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Failure failure is okay. As long as it's not final failure. We're not we're not giving up, you know. Yeah, of course. Okay, one sec. Are we gonna go take a walk and then come back? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I think we need that. My brain is fried right now. I think I was trying to sleep, but the sleep wouldn't come. So I just, I'm just over here, just staring at. Elliot, can you can you create a guest on GitHub? Uh, yeah. One sec. Let me just go to my GitHub. Uh. I'm gonna go in. Okay. I'm just gonna, well, I could just go to this JS group and put it in there. <clears throat> I'll just put it into a new. Come on. Okay. Create a new file. I am going to Kroger's. All right, that sounds like a plan for getting unstuck. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Uh, pasting. Uh, did pulls. Code. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And then. Yeah. If you just come to my branch within. Uh, What's your username? Uh, let me see. Yeah. I'll just put this in there. And then just come to the Elliot's right branch. Uh, let me come to the chat. Yeah, yeah. I I think it I think it's sending you to this branch. Yeah, from this link, and then uh, it'll be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'll see pasting Deadpool's code. That's that's where yours is. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Did you get it? Yeah. Yeah. Thank okay, you. Okay. Good. Good. I'll find a solution to this. <laughs> yeah. What's your actual name, Deadpool? Anurag. Anurag? Yeah. I'm from India. Yeah. Are you from are you from uh, Andhra Pradesh? No, I'm from Delhi. Oh, you're from Delhi. Okay. Yeah. Anurag. Someday I'm gonna learn how to say that. Anurag. What? Anurag. <laughs> anu Anu or Anna? Anu. Anu. A N U A N U R A G. Anurag. Yeah. Rag Anurag. Try to say Rag Anurag then. Rag ra ra rag. Okay. Rag Anna Anna. Yeah. See, I've been to Delhi before. Oh. It is fun. Yeah. This was in 2011. This is not where the Taj Mahal is, right? No, it's. No, it's, it's in Agra. Yeah, it's a far, far drive. Okay. I should visit India. But yeah, it'll change your life. I feel like I need like <clears throat> a whole gang. I, <laughs> Shrikan, welcome back. Yeah, yeah. Your, oh, yeah, your power is back on. Have you guys finished that challenge yet? No. No. Uh, I actually. Um, you I may, did you do you see in the chat where I posted the code? The first name. Uh, Shrikant. Yeah, I think I lost that. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll post the uh, the link to the code again. Okay. I see where is that. Can I still? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you still got uh, access. Uh, props here. We have written S. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> I I I have I have Eastlink on my VS code. <laughs> uh, Deadpool's over here questioning whether he knew how to program anymore. <laughs> Is it contact or contacts? Oh, we made it a variable. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was like, "What am I doing with my life?" <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was just an ass. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I need to go. I think I need to call it a day, but okay. Um, okay, no problem. Yeah, I mean you have the code now, so okay. And we can always we can make pull requests on that uh, on that to like continue the work outside of like the recording time. But <laughs> let's just complete. <laughs> let's just complete this code. I I can't. I need to. I need to do some things, but. Okay, uh, okay, okay. I'll end the recording, but I mean, you guys are welcome to stay in the chat, but I don't know how much longer. I think you'll have another 40 minutes and then it'll end. But, okay, no uh, problem. Yeah, feel free to keep hanging out, but uh, I, I do need to go. Okay, okay. no problem. Uh, yeah, I think uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll make. Yeah, I don't think it matters who.